Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold, the second swing golf at the Ping Proving Grounds today with James Lee, a master fitter for Ping. Um, and today we are covering the new Ping S159 wedges. Um, we're very excited about these because, um, well, first of all, the, the Ping wedges in general, the like, for example, the Glide 4.0s, um, loved, were loved in the fitting bays. Oh, and really uh, very yep. consistent. We love especially how consistent they are, maybe in, say, you get moist conditions, you know, uh, there's what the the face design is really really good and so that's why we're so excited about about the s159s now so um i guess james i'll, I'll start by just kind of first i know we have a um a wedge fitting app here that yes, we're going we go into so but uh first talk about just the the story behind s159 you know what's going to be the biggest difference with these compared to maybe past models of ping so right now we introduced the midnight finish mm -hmm. so if you remember the glide 2.0 stealth yeah uh what they use is a different kind of face blast on the midnight so you won't lose as much of the uh the finish yep so that's what's going to be the yep. one of the biggest differences there um leading edge is going to be a little straighter okay and spin consistency is going to be there always mm -hmm. yeah right and then we have our chrome also but we introduce a new uh grind which is okay. our b grind but we're going to go through this app yeah. and see what grind actually fits into you yeah and then we'll take it out onto the to the perfect green. perfect yeah so let's get into this right now because i think the it, it's cool that you guys added another grind because sure. that's so much of the the key piece to wedge fitting is right. identifying the right sole grind for a player so absolutely um, let's let's get into this thing here all let's right see, let's see what we got here so first what we're going to do is all right so what is your average score would you say so i'm a 0 0.4 i think i'm probably actually right in between those top two uh I, let's go with let's go with seventy four or less. It's, there we uh, go. You're a player. I'm. It's <laughs> it's, your, a, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> what's your pitching wedge carry distance? One forty five for the pitching wedge carry, and the forty five okay. degrees loft is Perfect. correct there. And then what's your highest lofted wedge? Right now it's fifty eight degrees. Fifty eight. Yep. And then what kind of t uh, turf conditions are you playing in? Soft, wet, medium, or firm? I'd go, I'd say most rounds are on soft or wet conditions. Soft or wet conditions, yeah. I mean, okay. I, I play multiple courses and it right. might vary, but I would say most of them are soft. Okay. Wet. Yep. And your typical divot depth, would you say it's shallow, medium, or deep? I'd say it's mostly pretty, yeah, it's about, I'd say medium. Medium? Medium, yeah. Okay. And then your sand conditions, typically, what are you playing in? Soft, medium, firm? I'd say that's medium too. Medium. Um, again, that's I don't. The course I play has both. It has all. Right. It has all right. types of sand conditions so in it. So get yeah. that medium ground. Uh, pitch shot technique. Do you tend to open the face around a green? I definitely square? open the face. Open yeah. the face. I'm, I'm definitely. I'm opening the face almost any wedge shot I have. Okay. So. <laughs> Perfect. And then your ball position. Is it middle back? Is it middle forward? Um, I'd say middle or forward. I rarely move it farther back. Okay. Um, Perfect. And then once you look at these, your highest priority for your lob wedge, what are you okay. looking at capturing there? Yeah, I think it's it's going to be the versatility around the greens. Perfect. Because um, I, like I mentioned, I manipulate that face right. and open it a lot. Right. And so being able to do that on a variety of lies and, okay. and conditions is, I think, the biggest, the biggest thing Perfect. for me. So. Uh, what about sand wedge? What's your highest priority? Mm, the sand wedge. That's probably more of a, like a, full swing type of club for my sand okay. wedge. Okay. Um, so I guess on that, probably be Maybe like the distance control. The and distance full swing. control. Yeah, it's probably the big one. Okay. So this is going to recommend two grinds. I mean, we're going to okay. take those two grinds over to the green. So I kind of figured you'd be in that H ground, which is okay. our half moon grind. Nice. Okay. So there's heel relief and then there's toe relief, and that allows you to manipulate, and that's what you were talking about, around the yeah. greens. You want to be able to open the face. So for your 58, the H grind is going to be key for you. Okay. For your 54, your full shots, the S grind is going to be, because you're not opening the face and, yeah. and you're keeping it pretty square. Yep, I am. So we're going to take the 58 H grind and the S grind over to our green and see which one you like and see what kind of shots we're I like hitting it. there. I like it. Let's do it. All right. All right, so James, down down here at the kind of the short game area, you've got a couple of clubs. You kind of we talked about you know the the results from the wedge fitting. So what do you have for me here? So the wedge app showed that your primary was the H grind, mm -hmm. and then your secondary was the S grind. Right. So we're gonna hit both, but I think you're really gonna fit into the H because you said you like the versatility of opening up the face, mm -hmm. and that allows you to do that. And the reason why is because this H grind, which is half moon, has heel relief and toe relief. Okay. So it 
makes it a little bit easier for you to open up. Yeah. And if you needed to get up close on it, there's mm -hmm. relief there so that lead edge is not sitting up high. Right. So that's the key for that. Sure. So we're going to hit both. We're going to hit a couple of shots here and then that second flag. And then I'm going to have you flop some to that third flag. Oh, OK. And then I'm going to listen for a turf interaction. And I want you to give me some turf interaction, okay. not necessarily of the feel, yeah. but it's how it's how know, it's gliding through essentially. Absolutely. The okay. And we'll hit both. And okay. I want you to do the shots that you would typically get yeah. okay. out of the course. Okay. So let's Sounds start with great. your primary. Sounds great. Okay. So start going to this flag here. Yep. Yeah, I love by the way the the way that the finish looks. It's it's awesome. Even like right now where you got some sun shining from us this right. way. You know, there's no glare. There may be, there might be a glare this time of day on a, right. on a kind of shiny chrome wedge, but this is looks fantastic. All right, so the close flag here. Let's see if I can manufacture a shot here. <laughs> see that one? I actually caught it a little behind. I don't know if you noticed that, but it like it gl still glid got kind of. Yeah, it was it was it was easy. Nice. Now that one was nice. It almost is just kind of a quick little bounce, bounce off the ground essentially, right. you know? I like that. I like that a lot. I like that. Get in there. Ooh. All right. Here's the S okay. grind. Same shots. Okay. And then yep. we'll go to. So kind of slightly, so I, with this shot, I'll slightly, I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of like to slightly open the face and then almost. Okay, so what you'll notice is because that's the S grind, yeah. if you do open the face, that lead edge is going to come up a yeah. little bit, right? Right. Where yep. the I H grind is yep. still going to sit lower you for just you. Just a little bit, yeah. And again, I'm not going like this on these, right. you know? So, so I want you to do but, that same kind of shot okay. so you can see the difference in the turf interaction. That's a good shot there. See, even that one, like, is it, that would make sense then, right? If it felt like a tiny bit, like I hit lower on the face, would that make sense? Lower with, on the face? Yeah, with that. Well, d did you have that one square or did you open up the face? I opened it up a little bit. So it's going to be lower bit. on the face yeah, then? Yeah, okay. Yep. That is a correct statement. And that's why the half moon yeah, because it was H like grind is gonna be better for. Yeah, because it was like it felt like it was better contact, I right. guess, on some of those. You know, like typically you want to hit it about three to four grooves. Okay. Up from the bottom. Ooh. Nice. You hit them all good. There we Look go. Look at that. All right. So now we're gonna go to that second one. Okay, the second one. There. Yeah. So now you might have to open up that face a little bit. Yeah. Right. right. Especially because like there's a little bit of a slope here that's right. gonna be. Kind of a. So this is where that issue, versatility but, around yep. the green, which is what you said in the. Uh, yeah, like this one, I would for sure get kind of an open that face. And yep, that's what I want to see. Almost, because the one thing is that I, my, some of my buddies will ask me why I'm a little wristy around the greens. Like I kind of, which is probably not the technique that is taught most places, but. Right. It's kind of about being versatile. It works for you. Yeah. See, I'm wondering if the better play here is to like go low and scoot it down or if it's to like a little higher, a little higher. Yeah. Cause it'll do exactly what it just did. Yeah. It'll kind of scoot away it'll from me. Cause that is a quick little it. hill there. Right. Right. Let's see if I can loft it a little bit more here. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit fat on that one. But that's where the half moon is going to be better for you. Yeah. Because right. you'll be able to open it up. This is a tough shot here, James. Yes, it is. <laughs> Ooh, I like oh, I that. like that. That checked up nice too. I'll take that results from here. Very nice. Another nice one. One time. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. All right, now here's the S. Do the same exact shot. Okay. It's just a nice, like that was like a, just a nice kind of clip almost. Right. All right, so I got to open. All right. Even like looking at it, I feel like it's going to be tougher to get yeah, the club underneath. Yeah, no, I, I want you to open it up just like your, just like the H. Okay, I just swung a little hard on that one. Although that could have been a little thin too, which.
Hmm. It just it it does feel tougher to hit right the center of the club yep. face here. Absolutely, you gonna make you work hard for that. <laughs> Especially because this is like this is kind of a tight lie here, you know. It is. So even more so, I mean, like that one was good, but the consistency level, yeah, is yeah, no, be seriously, because right? like I mean, I had one go in and I had right. two like thirty exactly. feet away. Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, I, I happened to clip that one perfect. It was actually almost off the toe a little bit, kind of like dug it in. But you were like. definitely more consistent yeah, with this I was. one, yeah. right? Yeah. Let's hit a couple out of the rough. Okay. And I'm just go over here. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Give me like two shots each. We're gonna go to that far one. Okay. Let's go back to the H. Okay. Yeah. Go to that far one. Just okay. like two shots from right here. Oh, gotcha. We'll do the okay. rough after. Perfect. That far shot. This is even a tougher shot. So now, you're, well, you're, you're now you're really going to have to open up, right? Yeah, you're, this is. <laughs> this is going to have take to land it on the flat spot, on the other side. I need like Bubba's creativity here. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Is that going to stop for me? Did a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's it. Oh, I love that. That was nice. <laughs> that one was like, that felt perfect. Yeah. That's exactly the, the shot I was trying to hit there. Right. All right, so that's the S grind. Okay, so this is gonna be, I don't know about this, Gene. <laughs> so there, what do you see right now? Make sure there's nobody right back now. there to get What hit. are you seeing right now? Do you, are you seeing that lead edge up yes. a little oh, higher? It, right. it's 100%. It's, that's, the, that's the difference. I. Now, if you were a square shot, bump and run, that yeah, might have like recommended I could, the, I could, the S I mean, player. I think, honestly, I think the, I mean, I'm not, for the sake of the, what you're, the, the point here, I'm not going to do it, but I think I should to hit the shot close. I should go like this and just try and roll it through the right. fringe. <laughs> but there's nobody in the distance behind the green, so I think I'm safe. Swing away. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad you got that one on camera. I'm not. <laughs> no, you need to keep that one. <laughs> I'll get that one up and down, not this one. All right, I'm gonna really work hard to get under the ball here. Oh, even then I didn't. Let's see. So that's what's gonna happen if you don't have yeah. the right grind. Because mm -hmm. that, that is the shot. Like even, even on a more kind of straightforward shot, I right. would do the open the face thing. Right. And that's just my I'm the same way. style of play. And it's so much easier and I was much more consistent with Yes, you were with the sure. H. Like even this, I mean, there was a couple good shots I hit from it for right. sure, but the misses were misses. Right. You know? And that app told us that. Yeah. But even if we didn't have that app, I would I would bring out a couple of grinds for you. Yeah. And ask you to just do whatever shots you do out here. Yeah. And automatically, once I saw you open up yep. in my mind, I'm like, it's H over. grind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that lead edge stays lower. Yeah, right, right, yep. And then, because this, this is a full swing club, right? And, right. I mean, it can be. I, I can see that for sure. Take a big divot on a full 100-yard yep. shot. But, yep. Um, do you want to hit out of the rough? Yeah, let's hit a couple out of rough and then a couple of bunker shots. Okay. Let's go back to the H first. A little flop game? Yeah. Well, and you can maybe hit a couple to this one also. I'll let you choose. I mean, out of the rough, what I'm looking for, you know, like out of the rough, you just want the ball. You're still going to open up the face. So. You, wanna, you want the club to just cut through and glide through right. quickly. You know, but it's going to hit a little higher on the face anyway. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yep. Oh, I like that. I like that one. That's good. Like just, you just, just gotcha. plops it up there, you know. Yep. Kind of like to just give myself a wild card of a lie. Oh, that's nice right there. Look at that. Yeah, that's, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do better than that. I mean, that's. Hopefully you got that one on camera. Yeah, we'll take that one. All right. Ooh. That's a juicy lie. That'll, this will go nice and high. Oh, that's so good. I like it. I like oh, it a lot. So good. So, yeah, you'll, you'll, I can see, yeah, because a ball sitting up high, the, right. the grind won't make a huge difference right. on these. But. It does not. So you'd be able to do the same thing. I just wanted you to kind of hit. Yeah, no, it. I mean, the, the, the wedge cuts through the grass. Right. And even I'm trying to, like, mess up the lies a little bit and kind of wild card it. Or I'm not just fluffing it every time, you right. know. But it's, I like it. I mean, it's, and it's consistent, too. The ball's, I mean, it's going the same height every time right. on these. Yeah, look at that. Just climb. <laughs> oh, I was like a foot from climbing down that, that hill there. Oh, that'll be a fun lie here. 
Let's try it. Yep. Still good. Like I said, oh, either grind. one out of the rough yep. grinds. The grind really matters yeah. on the tight lies. Mm -hmm. So, and then see what you did. So, let's hit some bunker shots. I like it. Let's do it. This is pristine sand is what it is. It's Augusta sand. Really? Mm -hmm. We built this during COVID. Oh, yeah. This used to be all synthetic. They oh, ripped really? It all, yeah, ripped it huh. all up, and we wanted a short game area, so real grass. And these layers, see the layers? You can see it better over here because oh, there's no yeah. moss. Those were all hand layered. Oh, wow. All the way across. That's cool. I like it. All right, so bunker shots. So with these now, I'm I'm kind of just number one, pri number one priority. I'll, yeah, I'll open it up. Um, but then it's just getting the ball out of the sand. Yeah, I like that. That cut through really nice, actually. Is that real? Is that too soft? No, I don't think so. Unless I, you think it is. I can make it. It's up to you. You're you're feeling it. I know. Yesterday we did our training. We raked it away, just so you can hear the yeah, thump. It. Yeah, that's I suppose. Well, I, I was on a on a longer swing. I can thump it. But all right, I'll go for that second pin. That white. Yeah, yeah, white that's one better. There. That's yeah, still a little soft, but that's fine. Go ahead and make it. <laughs> H grind it is. Yeah, in the bag. <laughs> that's solid. I haven't made a bunker shot all year. <laughs> it is December 7th. Well, you did it at the Ping Proving Grounds. I did. And you made a, a chip from over there. I did, I did. With I mean, it's just, it's the Ping wedges. It's the S159s. That's it. I don't even, I shouldn't even hit any more of these. We should be done. I like that. Look at that. Did I just make it in both of them? Two in a row? Oh. <laughs> All right, here's the uh, Okay. Here's the S. All right, I'll try. I'll go one, one, and one again. Sounds good. See if I can. Uh, this close one's, you got to just barely climb it out of there. Yeah. Look at that. What? <sighs> You didn't make it because that's the S grind. That's your secondary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The expectation, You'll get them is, close. the expectation is I make it. Yeah. You know? You'll get it close, <laughs> but the H will get you in. All right. It's so now the white flag. Let's see if I can. Sit. All right. Now to the back one. I do like though the it was a little cleaner with the H. It felt like, you know. Do you feel it different getting through? I think I'm just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like I'm black and white difference, but I'm glad you did that because that was with the yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> They're just almost like I. I just I almost bounced off the sand. I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but and not a good one. Well, here, let me give him the H then. There we go. Yeah, I'll end on a good one. That's perfect. I need the H grind. Though. Here, let me uh, clean this off. Spin. That came out nice, though. Oh, wow. with the spin? <laughs> that came out nice. That's nice. It's going to roll out. I like it. It's so it's so easy to hit out of sand. It really yeah. is. Like, it's just a, you pick your spot, you just thump it out, and yep. it's, it, it comes That's out every awesome. time. It's awesome. All right, James, testing complete here on the Ping Proving Grounds for the S159 wedges. And for me, it was the H grind and the secondary grind was the S grind. And Correct. I think it, you know, we tried a few different shots, I think all the way across the board. For me, in the way I opened the face, it was just much easier for the H grind to kind of glide through the various turf types um, and make sure I had really had solid contact on the right. golf ball. And so, um, you know, I, I, going to be a really tough time to not put these in the bag for me. I mean, I, I pulled out more shots today yeah, than did. I have all year, and it's <laughs> December. So yes. uh, I was really impressed by these. These are really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good fit for sure. Um, I like the H because I saw how versatile you were. Mm -hmm. You're opening up the face. But I also saw when you were hitting those shots, you were more confident. When I put the S, you saw that lead edge come up a little yeah. bit, and you're like, oh, what am I going to do with this shot? And anytime you're over a shot and you're not confident, 
mm -hmm. nothing's going to go right. Right. It's almost like, uh, like I mean, the misses on the S on the S grind, the ones that I didn't hit well were, right. it was a lot tougher to control those versus these. I felt like if I missed it, it was still, um, it wasn't a, a knockout punch, you know, right. I was still alive, if you will, on that right. hole. For, so, um, so let's, we can kind of, I know the who's it for question for a, a series of wedges kind of almost pertains to the grind. It almost emphasizes the importance of getting fit. But right. in this case, we can kind of discuss, discuss the H S grind and some of the other grinds that are available. The S159, we can kind of start, if you could just kind of go through some of the grinds and just discuss, you know, the types of players that might best fit each one of them. Right. So with you, I'll start with you being at your versatile, the H grind is, mm -hmm. is going to be the best because again, you can open it up, you can get up on the toe if you needed to. Yeah. Um, something like this with the S grind, be someone who likes to square their shots up. Mm -hmm. And then we have a new B grind, kind of the same thing. What they did was they took four degrees off of the W grind okay. and it's that B grind, but it's more for square shots, not really for opening up. Right. And in the T grind, a little bit less bounce, sits really low to the ground for maybe firmer conditions yeah. than what we hit today. If it's any kind of soft conditions, T grind might not be good, but that's why it's important to get fit, go through the different grinds, yeah. hit those shots, and see what's going to work out for the consumer. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the wedge fitting app was tremendous to kind of go through, and it also just emphasizes the importance on having the right grind for Absolutely. your wedges. Um, and, and in a lot of cases, in my case today too, um, the grind might not be the same for all the wedges. It probably will be different. Actually, right. you might, your 58 or 60 degree might be something different Absolutely. than your 54 or your 50 degree. So uh, make sure you get your wedges fit for the right grind that you will best benefit from on the golf course. And uh, James showed that to me today. So uh, James, thank you for taking me through all that with the S159 wedges. Um, gonna be a really big winner, I think, um, for Ping and for Second Swing customers for in sure. 2024. So thank you so much for the time. You're today. welcome.